All right, welcome to another episode of the Sloppy Bro Show with your buddy Marcus. Hope you patriots are having a good Saturday, especially with all the panic and crisis and national state of emergency that's going on due to the coronavirus, uh, which is kind of what I want to talk about today. I mean, I know I've talked about this already, but shit, man, doesn't seem like this shit's going away anytime soon. So I figured, you know, we'd hit on a little bit more today. I got to tell you, I am fucking blown away by the amount of damn panic people are doing right now. And all of this, you know, let's be honest, it's most of it's media induced. But you people have got to chill the fuck out and quit hoarding all the damn toilet paper. Seriously. I went to my local Dollar General today to get some milk, you know, and supplies. And I figured, hell, I'd just check out the damn toilet paper aisle. And I'll be a son of a bitch. Even in my little damn community, it's, it's fucking wiped clean. All that was left was um, tissues for blowing your nose and uh, paper towels, which, I mean, you know, you could wipe your ass with that shit, but, you know, I wouldn't recommend flowing it, flushing it down the toilet unless you want, you know, plumbing problems. But seriously, though, God. This is not the end of the world, folks. I promise you. Yes, people are going to get sick. Yes, some people are going to die. But this is not, you know, the the apocalyptic plague of the 21st century, you know, brought down by God by any means, you know, we're going to be, be okay. Now people like me that have like, you know, fucking pacemaker diabetes and fucking, you know, COPD from smoking, you know, we stand a high fucking risk, but I promise you, if I'm not freaking out about it for you healthy motherfuckers, the ones that get up every morning and go damn jogging and shit, you know, you guys are going to be fine, man. Relax. But the one thing I am concerned about <laughs> You know, is how all this bullshit and mass hysteria that the media is pumping left and right, you know, this fear campaign that we're on right now is, you know, how it's going to hurt, you know, our economy, particularly our small businesses. I'll be honest, with you, I don't give a fuck about the corporations. The corporations are going to be fine. You know, they've, they've got money stockpiled up the ass. What's good, what I'm concerned with is the, you know, the small business owner, you know, people like my friends that, you know, have t shirt businesses screen printing businesses, you know, fucking work in restaurants, you know, fucking servers, you know, hostess, waitresses, you know, people have, you know, small restaurants, family owned restaurants, you know, that's who I'm worried about because this is really going to fuck and hurt them. And that's where I need you folks to come in. Do not let this shit fucking scare you into having to stay at home and not do shit. Yes, it's good to be home with your family. Yes, it's good to play board games and talk and watch movies. All that shit's good and important. You know, we should be doing that shit regardless anyway, even if there wasn't a fucking, you know, worldwide pandemic. You know, because family is important. It's, you know, it's the most important thing. But rather than staying inside, you know, and fucking trying to hide yourself from the rest of the fucking world to not catch this fucking thing, get out there and support your small businesses. Go out and eat at the fucking restaurant. You know, tip your servers well. You know, tip your bartender well. Go to the bar, have a drink. You know, meet with your friends. You know, fucking socialize. You know, fucking live your life, man. Because if not, these damn small businesses are going to go fucking under, man. And that's going to hurt the economy and us overall as fucking Americans. Because that's what this country is about. Small business and entrepreneurship. You know, we have got to support our local entrepreneurs, period. You know, I know it's scary. You know, I know, you know, the, you know, the media is telling you, you catch this thing, you're going to fucking die, you know. But believe me, I've been doing the research. I'm not going to get into it now because, you know, I don't want to come off as a conspiracy theorist. But this shit didn't just fucking happen, you know. And there is a lot more to it that we're not being told. But, you know, there is a reason for it. But regardless of all that shit, by staying at home and locking yourself up, by going out and fucking hoarding all the fucking toilet paper and goddamn hand sanitizer and fucking bleach and shit, 
you know, you're giving them exactly what they want. They want to control you. They want you to behave and act like sheep. They are hurting you and you are falling in line and you need to stop. You need to say, fuck off. You know, instead, what we need to do is, like I said, look after our small business owners, our entrepreneurs, look after our neighbors, look out for those in our neighborhood that are less fortunate than us. You know, I mean, they're going to be closing the fucking schools, which is ridiculous, but there's going to be a lot of children, you know, that are now going to miss fucking breakfast and lunch because of this shit. Okay, so it's up to us and our community to help take care of those less fortunate. So if you know of kids in your neighborhood or area that are going to go without, reach out to them, you know, give them breakfast, give them fucking lunch. You don't have to be fucking fancy. I'm not saying take them goddamn steaks, you know, fucking cereal in the damn morning, a good fucking healthy peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the afternoon, you know, whatever you can do, you know, Help those ones that don't even have children, you know, the elderly folks that, you know, don't have many family left, you know, that might be by themselves living on a fixed income, you know, or the, you know, the mom and dads that are fucking struggling, you know, it's up to us to take care of our own because the government is not going to do it. They don't give two shits about us. They don't. And right now their main focus is to bring down Trump by any means necessary they tried to do it with impeachment and they failed. They tried to do it with Russia collusion. They failed. They tried to do it with fucking Ukraine. They failed. So they know the election is just right around the corner. They know that the majority of the American people are behind to support our president. And they know he stands an excellent chance of getting reelected. So right now, what are they trying to do? They want to burn it all down. They want the economy to to crash and go into a recession because they know by doing so that's going to piss off the American people. And who are they going to blame? The man in charge, Trump. You know, they want this fucking virus, this, you know, coronavirus to spread and cause panic and fear because who are the people going to blame? Fucking Trump. And it's bullshit. I know it's bullshit and I know you know it's bullshit. You know, if you don't like Trump, that's fine. But this is not how you go about it. You know, you don't play these fucking dirty tricks and dirty politics. You know, you find you a good fucking candidate and you run against him fair and square based on the fucking facts and the damn policies. You know, that's the problem with the Democrats. They don't have anybody that's worth the shit to run against Trump. I mean, they went from a field of 20, you know, black men, black women, you know, Hispanic men, you know, women, very, you know, diverse field of candidates. You know, we even had a, you know, cool gay dude. And what do you wind up with? Two of the oldest fucking white guys in the goddamn party. That to me is fucked up. That's the best that the Democrats can provide against Trump is two guys that actually make Trump the youngest person running for fucking president right now. I mean, it's fucking crazy. So, yeah, this coronavirus, it's all it is, man. It's fear. You know, it's just fear, uncertainty, and doubt being pushed on the American people, trying to get you to stay at home, you know, and fucking spend money hoarding shit that you don't need, you know, wanting to turn your backs on your fucking neighbors and your damn friends. So don't fall for it, people. We're better than that and we're smarter than that. I believe that in my heart. So yeah, think, use common sense. Wash your fucking hands. Cover your mouth with your elbow when you fucking sneeze or cough. You know, don't get all up in people's faces. You know, don't be rubbing your hand all over your fucking mouth, face, and eyes. You know, just use some common fucking sense. This is not the first time we've gone through this. You know, they said it was all going to end with mad cow disease. They said it was all going to end with SARS. They said it was all going to end with H1N1. You know, they said it was all going to end with the goddamn swine flu. You know, fucking Ebola. I mean, we've gone through this before, people. 
What makes this one so different? I'm not 100% sure. I have my suspicions, you know, and I believe it's, you know, a fucking team effort of certain factions and individuals across the country and the world that are working together. And right now they're fucking winning, folks. But I'm serious. Get out there. Support your small business. You know, go to your, go to your screen print and buy those fucking T-shirts that you need for your damn fraternities or sororities or for your business. You know, go out and support the family restaurants. You know, the small restaurants. You know, eat. Stuff your fucking belly full. You know. Go to your local hardware stores. You know, continue those projects that you want to do around your house. You know, tell Lowe's and fucking Home Depot to eat a bag of dicks. Go to your local your local facility. You know, reach out to your fucking neighbor. Make sure that they're okay and they got what they need. You know, let's work together on this. You know, it's time to put, you know, partisan politics aside. You know, and focus on one another and how we can get through this, you know, the best way possible. Because, you know, they're, they're trying to fucking destroy us. You know, they want to see that fucking stock market tank. They want the economy to collapse. You know, they want us to turn on one another. You know, let's show them that we're not stupid, that we're not sheep, and we're better than that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great fucking Saturday. I I'm, I might do a live stream tonight. I'll see how saucy I get. I've got some things I need to to work on. I've got some products that I need to get together for reviews. Um, I need to make some changes with my lighting setup. I need to get my damn, you know, camera, my new camera hooked up using that fucking Elgato uh, capture card thing so, you know, I can get even higher quality with my video. So, I don't know if I'm going to get it all done today. You know, I might do a little tomorrow, but I might go ahead and do a live stream tonight. So, you know, stick around, tune in for that. I'll let you know when it goes live. But as always, I can't thank you guys enough for tuning in and supporting me. For you new folks, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Punch that notification bell. That way, you're the first ones to know about it. As always, I will catch you motherfuckers on the flip side. Stay safe. Look out for one another. Cheers.